Hey guys, so it's Leah here. Well, um, my mom asked me a couple weeks back why I do um, a Dutch braid versus a regular braid. Um, a Dutch braid is just like an inside out type of braid. Um, so I thought I'd do a video of the two different braids and then in my blog post I will write about you know the differences and what I like and how I wear one versus the other because I both I wear both of them. Um, but this video is just to show you the differences. And I just got out of the shower so my hair is wet right now. Um, and I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle so that you can see the two different braids. Don't ever part my hair down the middle so this is gonna be real hard. Okay, so it's usually just to keep the hair separate. And there's Cooper making his debut. All right, so I'm gonna do a regular braid on this side and I'm just gonna go straight back. So you can go straight down, straight back. You'll see in some of my videos I've gone like down and then to the back. Um, this one I'm just gonna go straight back. So I just start off with three pieces. And I, so I have three pieces, and then I just crisscross over to the middle. And then I have this piece here, and I'm gonna take a piece and bring it into the middle to connect with the middle. Take it into the middle, yeah, connect. So then I have another piece, I'm gonna connect it to the middle, and then keep going all the way down. As you can see, I'm just going straight back and doing the braid. So this is just a regular French braid. And it's like the over because you're going over with the pieces of hair versus under, which will be the Dutch braid. Um, I don't think one braid is easier versus the other. I think, you know, once you get used to doing either one, you kind of just get, you know, used, used to braiding. So like at the end, you'll see I'm just going over. And then I'll just show you the other side and see how the Dutch braid works. So there you go, that's one side. So weird, <laughs> having a big deal. All right, so for this side, I am going to go under and do a Dutch braid. So a Dutch braid is just like an inside out braid. It's where the braid kind of sits on top of the hair. So again, three pieces, and then I'm gonna go under with my pieces. So under, under, under. And I'm just gonna keep going under. So I pull the hair under so that it's raised on top of the hair and the lighting of this might not be easy to see but so we're just raising it so it's going under so you can when you connect to the middle you go under the hair versus on top of the hair so under wrap it under but it's okay. If I was going somewhere, I'd care. So I'm just going all the way down. And I worked out my arms two days in a row, so I'm very sore. 
And so as you can see, I'm going underneath with my braid, which is what I did all the way down. Okay, so, so there's the two braids. So this one is the regular French braid and I went over. So when I was braiding, I went into the middle and I pulled the hair over to the middle. On this side, the Dutch French braid, I went under. So when I was pulling the hair to the middle, I went under the hair that was grouped together and then just kept going. So. You can see a little bit of difference like this is a little bit looser because the hair is over and it's not as pulled um, on this side it's more tight um, things like that it's raised you know it, so it stands up a little bit um, I will be writing on my blog about what I use the different Cooper stuff sorry I'll be writing on my blog about the different times I use a regular French braid versus a Dutch French braid and so check it out at georgia P or gapeachhairaffair.com and um, if you have any questions or comments concerns you can ask them there and i will always respond back to them um, hopefully this gives you like an idea of how they look the different braids and then you can see why i like to use or how i like to use the other ones so and cooper is getting restless so i'm gonna sign off now thanks for watching guys bye